this racket started to occur in the back bedroom and some disturbance. And my mum came into the room and she said to my uh, brother and sister or brothers, Johnny and Janet, pack it up and sleep. You've got to get up in the morning. You stop this nonsense right now. And uh, then she went into the room and the significant thing that we first found was the chest of drawers near the wall and the door had slid into sort of the doorway. And uh, Mum was scared and uh, she tried to find an explanation and she couldn't. They said to us all stand in the middle of the living room, like we were previously, when this had started. And there was faint knocks and things and they looked and uh, there was this baby's chair in the corner, like a high chair that had been dismantled into a small chair. I suppose it had sort of shot forward about a metre in front of them on its own. And she sort of went like that, the policewoman, and she sort of looked in disbelief and was looking to see maybe <laughs> something was attached to it and one of us might be playing a joke on her of some description, maybe. That's the sort of look she gave. And then she looked at all of us, children and my mum, and looked at us all and the policeman said, oh, well, we'll look over the place. And he looked... And he said, well, this doesn't look like a criminal matter. Like, we can't really help you. Graham Morris was a newspaper photographer and working for the Daily Mirror. And they sent him along to try and get some footage of what we was having in the home and the experiences of this knocking and things moving about and shuffling about and sliding about and stuff moving and see if he can get anything on camera. And uh, as he was taking pictures, something lobbed up and hit him on the head, uh, quite at a false. And it was a piece of a Lego brick of a children's toy. It took him back for a few minutes. He was all in a terrible state, very scared and tired of it. And it got worse as the time went on. We got more exhausted with it and tired. And then when we went to school, we actually got out into the neighbourhood that there was something strange going on in our house. And then it became known as the strange happenings in Enfield. We was talking to Lorraine in turn, the family and us children and my mum. She was feeling the atmosphere of the house. I didn't know what she was or what she was doing, but she was sensing and looking round and she said to Ed, oh gee, I'm going over here a minute. Hey, I'll come and stand here, Ed. Can you sense anything here, any coldness or anything? She said, I'm feeling rather cold in this bit. She said, there's definitely something in this house. And that's the way she talked. And she said to us, don't worry, she said, I'm okay, she said, I'm just seen these things before, she said, and I can pick up if there's a spirit here or try to find out why the spirit's here. The story has to be told, really, and it, it's never been told in a film like this before, so we're happy to be able to m m have moved on from it, but remember everything what happened as best we can to tell the true story.